All right, today we're going to look at how to use Maple to help us with quadratic modeling. This is for situations that can be modeled by a polynomial that is quadratic or a polynomial function of degree two. So first we need some data. There's some data relating speed to miles per gallon for a certain number of car trips. The first thing we, we're gonna want to do is visualize the data, which just like in the linear modeling video, we do by making a scatter plot. And to make the scatter plot in Maple, we first need to define our data vectors. We're going to make one vector for speed and one for miles per gallon. So our speed vector is going to be s, assign with colon equal, and then type all of our data values in order from the speed column and separate them by commas. So there's our speed vector. Our miles per gallon vector will then do the same thing with the miles per gallon data. So now that we have our data vectors, we're going to make a scatter plot. Remember to use the scatter plot command and also to use our function we're going to use to get a polynomial that best fits this data, we need the statistics package. So we type with statistics and it gives us access to all that stuff. So now let's make our scatter plot. We take a scatter plot of our vector s and our vector m and there we have our visual representation of the data and looking at it it seems reasonable to expect the data to fit a polynomial curve well that maybe goes up like so and then back around like that so the question is how do we find out what polynomial is the best fit for this data and the answer is with the polynomial fit command. And this is one of the commands from the statistics package. The form of polynomial fit, capital P-O-L-Y-N-O-M-I-L-A-L, capital F-I-T, is it takes the degree, the vector for the independent variable, the vector for the dependent variable, and whatever variable you want to use to display the polynomial. I type polynomial fit. We want to get a quadratic equation, so that's a degree two polynomial. We want it to have speed as our independent variable, miles per gallon as our dependent variable, and the, since it's giving us a polynomial for miles per gallon in terms of s, we're going to make our variable s. If you want to have the polynomial be a polynomial in x, you would use x there instead. So there's our degree two polynomial that best fits this data curve. Just like when we were doing the linear modeling, if you want to cut down the number of digits in each of the coefficients there, you use eval f, and you could copy paste the whole polynomial in there, but since that polynomial was the last thing evaluated, we just reference it with percent and tell it to round everything so that it has four digits. And there's that polynomial with the coefficients rounded off. If we want to actually use this to evaluate stuff and answer questions um, and make predictions about the relationship between speed in miles per hour and fuel efficiency in miles per gallon, we might want to have this polynomial in an easily referenceable way. So we're going to define it as a function. We'll call it m for miles per gallon. So m colon equal, and we have our polynomial in terms of s, so we're going to make the variable s. s is going to go to that polynomial with the coefficients rounded. So we might have a question asking us to like predict the miles per gallon for a speed of 80 miles per hour. That of course is telling us to evaluate m of s at 80, so we just type m of 80 to evaluate and we get 17.62 miles per hour. You could again use evalf to get Maple to round that off to however many digits you want. We also could have a question like at what speed does this vehicle get the most?
miles per gallon. And of course, the graph of this quadratic is a downward facing parabola. We will look at the graph of this quadratic in a minute. But you can tell it's going to be a downward facing parabola and you can tell from the equation that it's a downward facing parabola because the coefficient on the x squared term is negative. So that means that the highest point, so the point that corresponds to the most miles per gallon, is the vertex of this parabola. So if we're viewing this as a parabola ax squared plus bx plus c, then we would have a value a is that coefficient on the x squared, b colon equal the coefficient on s, and c is the constant, like so. And with a, b, and c defined as those coefficients, the s coordinate of the vertex is given by vertex equals negative b over 2a. That gives you the independent variables value at the vertex for any quadratic polynomial. And we see that the x-coordinate of the vertex is about at 55.38. So this car gets the best gas mileage at about 55 and 38 hundredths. miles per hour. If you want to know how many miles per hour the car gets at that speed, well, you just evaluate for the dependent variable of the vertex. So we just take m of 55.38 and round it off a little bit. And we see it gets about 28.24, so almost 30 miles per gallon. The car gets 28.24 miles per gallon when the car is going 55.38 miles per hour, and that we predict is the best we can do. So finally, let's see what this graph looks like. Again, we can display both the graph of the best fit parabola and the scatter plot in one frame by using the plots command. So we define two graphs, two plots. So S1 is going to be the graph of our polynomial we take S1 colon equal to be the graph plot M of S with S between 25 and 80. 25 and 80 is fairly reasonable. If we look at our scatter plot, see the data starts around 30 and ends around 70. So 25 to 80 gives a little space on either side and is a reasonable range of values to use. Then we're going to make our scatter plot. We're going to call it M1. So M1 is the scatter plot with S as the independent variable and M as the dependent variable. And then if you want to graph them on the same frame, we type plots, display in square brackets, and then we want to display S1 and M1. So there we have a picture that puts the scatter plot in the same frame as the polynomial curve. And looking at it, that polynomial is a fairly good fit to that data set.